Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equations. f of x plus 1 equals f of x plus 4 plus 1. We are trying to find f of x. So let's solve this. So at this side, which is the left hand side, we have f of x plus 1. So equals f of x plus 4 plus 1. If I write this in form of f of x plus 4, this equals, I'm going to take this one to this side. And we have f of x plus 1 minus 1. So next, if I let x plus 1 to be equals t. So this implies that x plus 4 will be equals so t plus 3. So this is all like adding 3 to both sides. So I'm representing everything here, every x with t. Next we have f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 1. So after having this, so since we have f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 1, we want to derive a particular pattern here. We have this as 3 and this is t for all t which is a member of real number. Let's say I add 3 to this side. We have this as f of t plus 6. So this gives us f of t plus 3 minus 1. It's just like we let t equals t plus 3 from this side. So that is just replacement, adding 3 to this. And here we have f of t plus 3, which is f of t minus 1 from the above. Here by replacing it, we have, instead of f of t plus 3, we have it as f of t minus 1 minus 1, which gives us f of t minus 2. This is for f of t plus 6. And again, if you add another one, making f of t plus 9, this gives us f of t plus 6 minus 1. But f of t plus 6 is given as f of t minus 2. Therefore, we have f of 9 equals f of t minus 2 minus 1. That gives us minus 3. And if we continue in this way, when we continue this way, we are going to have f of t plus, the next one will be 12, which equals f of t plus 9 minus 1. But f of t plus 9 is given as f of t minus 3 minus 1. And where we have it as f of t minus 4. What we observed? The next one which is going to be f of t plus 15 will give us f of t minus 5. This is how it continues. So let's drive this in a general form. So the general form of this will be f of t plus if I call this a, a particular number k, since these are increasing by 3, 3, we are going to have it as f of 3, t plus 3, k equals f of t minus k. So where this k equals 1, 2, 3, and it continues like that. If k equals to 1, 
we have f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 1. So this is what we are going to have. Then to get f of t in a general way, we are going to have to assume if we assume a general linear form, because this is a linear form, we assume a general linear form of f of x equals mx plus c. And by changing this x to t, we have f of t equals mt plus c. Then, from the first one, before we derive all this, we have it as f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 1. But we have f of t already, which is mt plus c. We need to get f of t plus 3. So which means we are still applying this formula. We just change t to t plus 3. So by changing it, we have f of t plus 3 equals m into bracket of t plus 3 plus c. And we equate the two together. We are going to equate because we have f of t plus 3 equals f of t minus 1. So we have f of t plus 3 already and we have f of t which is mt plus c. By equating these two sides, we are going to have... So by equating these two sides, we have f of t plus 3 which gives us m into bracket of t plus 3 plus c equals y f of t is given as mt plus c then minus 1. So by opening this parenthesis with m, we have mt plus m times 3, that is 3m. Then plus c equals mt plus c minus 1. If mt cancels mt and c cancels c, here we have 3m equals minus 1. And then Dividing both sides by 3, we have m equals minus 1 divided by 3. So minus 1 over 3 is the value of m. And when we now recall from where we let the linear form, hence we have f of t equals m, which is minus 1 over 3, then multiply by t plus c. Therefore, changing this t to x, we have f of x equals minus 1 over 3x plus c. This is the final answer to this problem. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.